Hi guys, Stacy here. How's everybody doing? It is Saturday, March 6, 2021. I just got off work. Actually, I got off work, went to Walmart, kind of just... You ever just like wander around Walmart? Like, I like to like check out their clearance things. I got a couple things for like my grandkids for Easter. I don't know. I was just like mindlessly roam, roaming Walmart is what I've been doing. But now I just pulled in my driveway and my kids haven't noticed me yet. So I got a few minutes. I thought I'd do a quick video. <sighs> okay, I weighed in yesterday at 400 pounds. Last week I was 403. The week before that it was 399. So I'm 400 now. So I lost 3 pounds. But I'm still not down to my 399 where I was. And that brings it to 33 pounds I think total this year. I'm pretty sure it's 33. So that's good. Um, I felt really good all week. Like, um, mentally, my mood. Here in Michigan, it's like, well, today it's like, what is it? 42 degrees, and it's sunny, and it just feels so good. Like, I think we all just need this. Like, I need the sunlight and the warmer weather. I mean, 40 is still cold, but, like, I have short sleeves on. Like, it's summertime. Um, but... And then Friday when I weighed in, just had like a mood, like just felt like fatter than ever and yucky. Just, you know, sometimes you feel like so good and the next day you're like, oh, I'm hideous and I'm fat. And I'm like, you didn't change that much from yesterday than today. But so I'm feeling better. Um, what else is going on? Um, still tracking. I think the tracking is saving me because even when I'm not exactly right in my calories, it makes me think, like, oh, you're already 200 calories over, like, maybe you should nip it in the butt, you know, it really does, is helping me this time around, and sticking to it, so I've really been sticking to the tracking, I really want to be back in the threes next Friday, I just have to pull it together on the weekends and after work, those are my times of, um, I think I've said this in the past, like, I reward myself with food for doing adult stuff. Like surviving a day at work, I get a reward and that's usually something to eat. Which I know doesn't make sense, but I notice I do that and like now it's the weekend and I feel so good and like I want to go home and get comfortable and enjoy my... I, I work six days a week so I get like one day off and I just that always involves food. Like the feel good feeling for me is like some good food at home and my day off. I want to play my animal crossing and just relax, you know, distress or whatever. But, um, so I'm still with it. Not perfect, obviously, or I would have lost eight pounds or whatever, but I'm happy with the three. Um, what else? just kind of, uh, I talked to my, gr my granddaughter called me today and she was like, I want to tell you what I did yesterday. And I was so glad that she was like getting out because if the kids these days, or at least my kids, my youngest, my grandkids, like they're almost turning into like little hermits with the COVID. But, um, so I was glad to hear about her going out and then it just broke my heart that she like obese, my daughter, my daughter struggled with their weight. My grandkids struggle with their weight. My husband struggled. My mom struggled. Um, so it's a family problem. But so she struggles with her weight. She's ten. She's beautiful, smart, just and strong. She's so much stronger than I am. That's what I like admire about her when she's telling me this story. But she's telling me a story. She went out with friends last night. I was so glad she was out doing something social and fun. And then like a couple boys and a girl, you know, kind of came at her and called her like fatty and asked her if she was pregnant and just, just like mean things. I just don't understand. Like I never go and like attack somebody. And it just seems like it's so easy when somebody's overweight that that's your go-to. And it hurts so bad. 
I can tell you personally, like, it hurts so bad that it stays with you. And I don't know what to say to her. I mean, I've been through it. And, I, you know, I told her, you know, I'm sorry. And, like, I try to tell her, like, once you grow up, like, it doesn't happen. It still happens. And usually it is kids that still will do it these days. But, I don't know, it just broke my heart. Like, be nice to people. If you don't like big people, then just don't hang with them. Just leave them alone. Why do you have to, like be mean to them. I don't understand that. I really don't. I don't understand that. And, you know, maybe it's because big people in our family are people we've loved. Like my mom, my husband, you know, so big isn't like, I don't know. I don't understand it. But, um, I'm planning to go in and enjoy my day off Again, thank you everybody for watching and the support of words. I know I haven't been on here commenting this week, but I'm going to. I do appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I know we had a couple new ones this week. Shoot, we're going to get to 700 subscribers before we know it. But I appreciate everybody. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.